projectile is fired at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal with some initial speed. If we were to fire a second projectile at the same speed, what other angle would result in the same horizontal range? So I've color coded my two projectiles here. The red projectile is fired at 30 degrees from the horizontal. The second projectile in green, we don't yet know what the angle is, but we know that its range is the same as the red projectile. And we also know that the initial speeds of both projectiles are equal. So what's the first step we need to do to solve this problem? Well, depending on how much you need to learn in your physics course, you may need to derive the formula for the range of a projectile. And if you do need to do that, I have a video up here that explains the process. But if you don't need to do that, you can just memorize this equation here, where the range is equal to the initial velocity of the projectile squared, multiplied by sine two times the angle, divided by the acceleration due to gravity. Now for both our projectiles, we know that the range, the initial velocity, and the acceleration due to gravity is the same. The only difference we have is the angle here. So effectively, we can ignore these variables here and just focus on the sine of the angle here. So all we're interested in is this sine term here. So let's plot this sine term and see what we get. Now for any angle, the maximum value of this term here is going to equal one. But where does this maximum value occur along the x-axis? If you were to put sine 90 degrees in your calculator, you would get a value of one. But since the angle here is multiplied by two, we find that this whole term will equal one when our angle is equal to 45 degrees. Because two times 45 equals 90. And even though this is not the answer to this particular question up here, this actually tells us that the maximum possible range for a projectile will be achieved if it's launched at a 45 degree angle. Our red projectile up here has been fired at a 30 degree angle. And because this is the only term that affects our range, because these values here are fixed, and all we need to do here is look at the symmetry of the sine curve about the 45 degree angle. Now 30 is 15 degrees away from the, the peak of this curve. If we add 15 degrees on top of 45, we get a value of 60. So this means that the final answer to this question is 60 degrees.